Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an in-cell uh, actual versus target graph. So in this particular table we have our actual values and we have a target that they should reach. And this bar chart in here is actually an in-cell bar chart that looks to see how we're doing, how our actual value is doing uh, in regards to the target. Now I have this set as a random number generator from 0 to 100% uh, and if I press the F9 key you'll notice that it changes and the bar chart changes based on the target. So we see here we are at 80% of targets, very, the 80% and the target is 85% and very close to that. If I press F9 a couple more times you'll notice in some cases where the actual uh, exceeds the target and of course the color of the bar chart takes over the, the cell. So basically it is uh, over the target. It, it, is, it, it has met the target. So I'll show you how to create this type of graph. Let me copy this particular data. Control C to copy. Let me bring it into another sheet here. Control V to paste. And I'm going to bring in the other headings too. Let me bring these over. Control C to copy. Control C to Control V to paste. And for the target, maybe I'll just make up some other target numbers. Maybe I'll make this 90. I'll make this. I'll make this 90%. I'll make this uh, maybe 80%, 95, 100, and uh, maybe make this one uh, 95 again. Oops, I forgot to put the percentage after this since it won't properly format. I'll put that the percentages in there, so it will properly format. 100% here and 95% here, right? 95% here. All right, press enter. You notice that this keeps changing because anytime I uh, execute a, a um, uh, press enter to execute the the command, it's going to uh, recalculate this random command. So this random command basically, or this random function, uh, randomizes a number between zero and one. So that's what it's doing. Let me format these particular cells and give them a border. And we'll get to the in-cell graph here. So I'm going to double click this to autofill this because the title is being cut off. Let me double click the border here. It will autofill that. Let me make this a little bit bigger here. And what I want to do here is I want to have it equal this particular value. Press enter. And I'm going to double click the fill handle to bring it down. And we have our values for our in-cell graph uh, the same as our actual. Let me double click this to auto fill that to, to auto uh, fit that. So what we want to do is we want to use conditional formatting to give the appearance of a graph. So what I'm going to do is go under home. I'm in my first cell here. I'm going to go under home, go to conditional formatting. I'm going to create a new rule. So I'm going new rule and under the new form new formatting rule window, select uh, data bar. We're going to use data bars for this conditional formatting. So the minimum is going to be zero. So I'm going to select number and that's going to be zero. I'll take the default value here as zero because of course our in-cell graph we're going to start at zero. For our maximum what we want to do is select the formula and this is going to just reference the cell. So the formula is just going to reference cell D4. And I don't want to show, I just want to show the bar. I don't want to show the value here. So it's going to create a bar without the value. So the solid fill, you can choose any color you want. I'm going to go and choose green because uh, green usually indicates a green light for something. So this is where we want to, this is the color I'm going to choose. So after I click OK, oops, I forgot. One more thing we need to do is set the bar direction. The bar direction should go from left to right. We're going from left to right here. So click OK. And now you notice we have our bar chart. Let me bring this out a little bit so it looks a little bit better. So if this is 64 and the target is 90%, we can see we're almost close to the target. If I put 65 here, if I put 65% here, you'll notice that this particular bar chart, this green bar, is going to go almost all the way to the end, indicating that we've almost met our target. Oops, now it's a 67% since, since I have this random number. What, I'm, what I can do right here is just copy this and just paste this value so it doesn't change anymore once I execute any other commands. So let's go back and say maybe this becomes 70% uh, and we'll see that, oops, 
not 7,000%, 70%, press enter, we'll see that our bar is very close to the target. Now if we put 67%, whoops, I forgot to put the percentage sign in, let me delete that, 67%, we'll notice that we have met that. So the one bad thing about this is that you you can't really do it for all of it. You would have to do it one at a time. Now it would be nice uh, if we could select all the range of cells and go under conditional formatting and just do it once and it'll apply it for all of them for each respective row. But unfortunately that's not the way it works. We'd have to do this separately for each particular uh, record uh, or row. So I have to go into this first cell here go under conditional formatting, select on new rule, and then select my data bar, and select number, that's zero, show bar only, my maximum should be my formula, which in this case refers to cell D5. And the color is going to be green again, and the bar direction is, go, is going to go left to right. And click OK. And now you notice that it has uh, situated the bar there right in the middle. So 35% is almost half of the target of 80%. We're going to have to do the same thing for the other bars. So you notice that if we have a lot of records, doing it this way may not be the best. But if we have uh, just a couple records, we don't have too many, we can use this particular way to create a, an in-cell actual versus target. So if I go back to new rule and I create a data bar, it's going to give me the same options. I'm going to do the same thing I did for the other ones go into minimum and for number it's going to be zero for maximum it's going to be formula and now for this case it's going to represent a D6 color is going to be green and then the bar direction is going to be left to right and click OK and we have our bar here so let me complete the other records here and I'll speed up the video So here we go, we have our in-cell bar graphs that help visually chart what our actual is to the target. So we have our different targets here. Let's say, for example, this target it got increased. Let me make this 80%, 80%. And now you can see that the target is a little bit, uh, probably four-fifths of the way, uh, a little bit over 75% of the way. And that indicates the 67% is very close to the 80% target. If I change this to maybe, let me make this sick, maybe 79%, you can see that the target is very close. We're almost near the end here. So that's the way that we can create an in-cell uh, chart to indicate where we are from the actual the target. And we don't have to create a separate chart uh, to chart this data. So here's the way we can create an in-cell chart or a bar chart that helps us look at where we are for our actuals compared to our target. This is just another way that we can visualize our data. Instead of creating a separate chart, maybe off to the side, we can create a in-cell graph or chart to indicate our actuals versus target. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.